excited to bring you this celebratory fusion of basketball and Latin culture. With Grant Hill and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. Ali LaForce is our reporter. Back to Adams. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. And these teams have both been hit by the injury bug, Grant. Just an unfortunate part of the game. Yeah, and it always will be. I mean, teams making strides with prevention and recovery, but the game is just too intense and too demanding to avoid them. Now here's Moran. Consistent production from him. Averaging around 27 and a half points a game. Six to shoot. He can't hit that time. And it's the Lakers the other way. Oh, it's stolen by Adams. Left side, Moran. Three-pointer. The Lakers with a rebound. They're getting their first look of the season at the Grizzlies in this one. Their last season, they swept this team, which was expected given the delta in talent and consistency. It's simple. If you get open, LeBron will find you. The king is an incredible passer. Oh, got that one up quick. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now, here is James. Looking at his scoring efficiency, he's averaging around 29 a game. Man, the basket by Monk. Great leadership by LeBron James. What a pass. He's telling everyone, be aggressive, trust one another, make plays for each other. Here's Moran. Last game, an incredible scoring display for him. I mean, he's staying aggressive, trying to regain his touch. But right now, he's hurting the team. Boy, if you're the coach, you hate to see that kind of miscommunication between your guys. You know, one of the things that makes John Morant so special is his ability to drive and finish with either hand. A natural righty, but he actually prefers going left. That's a three. So they take the lead. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Back to Morant. Pass to Bain. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. And it's the Lakers on the break. Some room here for Anthony. Again, the Lakers score. Terrible shot selection, but you've got to appreciate his confidence. And Smitty, you look at Ja Morant's numbers. He's even better finishing with his left hand. It's special because around the rim, you don't know whether he's going to finish with his right or left. He makes it look so easy. Also passing, he can throw lobs really? and make hook passes with either hand. As a floor general, that's a that's tremendous first asset. Personal foul. First team foul. Pass to Horton Tucker. Your Trevor the rebound by Jackson. Memphis trailing here. Two minutes remaining in the first. From deep, Moran. Two minutes. To halt the run. And he gets it to go. John now two of six in the game. Morant, such a quick thinker. He doesn't hesitate on the catch and shoot. And the Lakers with possession here. Out to the right wing. Right side, Johnson. Shoots over Morant. Excellent D there from Morant. Adams a screen. Oh, it's stolen away. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. Pass to Bradley. Oh, excellent D there from Jackson. With a bucket here, they can recapture the lead. Mm -hmm. I like how they've hung in. Never let things get out of hand. Back to Morant. Oh, he drilled it. He's shooting three for eight from the floor. Well, Morant's awareness in the pick and roll is special. He usually makes the right read. And there's the basket. And the whistle blows. Chance at a three-point play here. Going to the line for one. Williams. That's his first personal foul. 
50 seconds left in the first quarter. And it's Moran off the drive. Who poked away. Jackson, the screen. Into the lane. They grab their own miss. Outside Morant. Five on the clock. From deep, Bain. Drops in the three. An unselfish player. I like how Morant is all about helping his teammates. Terrific pass. Gordon Tucker on the wing. Pass to Reeves. And here's the fast break. And here's Moran outside. Tie game in Los Angeles. Let's take a quick break. All and then it's on to the right. second Let's quarter after this. Get loud. Here they are. Your Laker Girls. Bam. Your and if you're just Laker joining us, Girl. it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. Taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. You know this, the team that dictates the pace typically rules the roost. We see that here early on. And Westbrook slams it home. What relentless energy from Westbrook on the drive. Not letting the defense get in his way. It's stolen by Johnson. To the inside. Arisa. And again, it's the Lakers. And breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Lakers. Their aggressiveness on D has been the most glaring aspect of this game so far. They have the heat turned all the way up in this first half. The other thing that's been effective so far tonight is their fast break. A lot of points coming on the run. As young as John Morant is, I'm impressed. He came in ready to lead a team. And these guys, they follow him. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. The officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. Well, at least the D was going for it, but he got to the ball just a moment late. You know, well, growing up in a basketball family, John Moran's father and mother both hooped. His dad even played some pro ball. And when John was old enough, he trained him to follow in his footsteps. Here's Moran. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago, there's the drive, Lakers and the shot on. goes down. Stanley. He's finally started to settle down here in the second quarter. Just needed to work up a sweat. And the training sessions with John, his father, T, became the stuff of the legends. Smitty, out on that concrete court, they built in the backyard. Ooh, I can imagine that hot South Carolina sun beating down on you, jumping on big tires to get his bounce. His dad never took it easy on him. He wanted to prepare him for the fire of competition. And he's good on the second. You really get it all with Russell Westbrook. His versatility as a player is truly exceptional. That's what allows him to crank out triple doubles one after another. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian, when speaking about LeBron James, Commissioner Adam Silver said he's certainly one of the league's hardest workers, which has as much to do with the success of his career as anything else. Also, off the court, it's incredible what he's done. He is a marvel in so many ways, but it all comes back to his focus and his dedication. Thanks, Allie. That's his yeah, and the intensity first Russ plays with is exceptional. When he goes hard inside, it forces the D to act. And while Westbrook has led the league in triple doubles many seasons, I think that stat is also a testament to his hustle. Yeah, when it comes to pure energy, Westbrook is maybe unmatched. He's the ultimate hard worker. Every minute he's on the floor, he's doing his best to make an impact on the game. Let's it go from 11. 
Morant, no good. The Lakers in the lead. Inside. And that one is stuffed right through. And if the defense leaves a man open, Westbrook will find him. Russell's four awareness helps him rack up the assist. And the basket by Tillman. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. And the Lava section gives free t-shirts. Let's see who is the Lava. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Pass to James. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. James has got his first. Three points of the game. And so far, there's been tremendous cohesion offensively this quarter. From deep pain. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Well, you hear about the importance of confidence. You think that was something you always had as a player, Grant, or did you have to build that up? Well, I mean, success ultimately does bring confidence, and I had success, fortunately, at a young age. So you have to understand you have to always attack, and you always have to believe in yourself, no matter what the situation. Here's Conchar. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. From deep. James with the rebound. And so it's the Lakers with it. You know, last game they matched up with the Mavs. A tough loss there. And they got to the line at a good clip. They couldn't cash in, and it ruined their chances. You know what happens. You start to miss a few. You develop a lack of confidence. And suddenly it becomes contagious. At the line, He's in attack Angle. mode, drawing contact now, getting to the line, something he didn't do at all in the first quarter. When I think of Westbrook, I think of one of the most intense players ever to play the game. A true competitor doing whatever it takes to will his team to a win. To the paint. With the seven-footer. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Checking in for the Grizzlies. Memphis trailing here. Ooh, stolen by Westbrook. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. And slam dunk by James. This has been a staple for Russ. Creating the turnover and getting right into transition. Down low. Tillman. Tillman. And the shot goes. Tillman's got four points in the quarter. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Now into the lineup for your There's 47 seconds left in the second period. Here's James. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. They've been a little more aggressive and a little more physical this quarter, and it's working well for them. Well, it's been eight years since LeBron won his fourth MVP trophy, a player who's regarded as the best of his generation. Hard to argue he shouldn't have more. Here's Conchar. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. John Gets the three ball to go. Not just a knockdown shooter. He does a great job of finding space for his shot. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. The three. On the wing, Conchar. From outside, off the mark. The three, Westbrook. He buries it from three. Westbrook's got 14. Yeah, Westbrook has been fired up on offense. He's clearly dedicating himself to making an impact on the score. And so that's the end of the first half. The Lakers on top, leading by... And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one.
going inside. And he can't jam it through. Huge challenge at the rim. The defender could not have played that any better. Shots good by John Moran. Moran. 17 points in the game. What a night for John Moran. Showing off that versatility, and he's relentless at the offensive end. Steven the defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. Foul. First team foul. At the line for the Lakers, Malik Mark. And he can't get the first one. Two. And the second free throw is good. And here's Moran. He's got 17 to the middle. Here's Jackson. And Russell Westbrook pulls it down. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. Incredible. I mean, high energy in transition. Just beating the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. The shot. It's a 10-point Laker lead. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Back to Moran. Pass to Jackson. Back to Moran. And stolen by Anthony. And it's the Lakers on the break. That's number four on him. He's still got a little wiggle room, but if he picks up a fifth, that could be a problem. Right around a minute and a half played in the third quarter. And it's Ja Morant with the foul. That's foul number two for him. They're having a hard time with fouls. It's still early, but one more and they'll be over the limit. That's his second personal foul. Third right side, Monk. This is what Steven Adams is known for. A fantastic defensive player with terrific instincts. And here's Moran outside. And he trains it, making him 7 for 15 for the day. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. And now, almost all their points coming from the paint. And it's Moran off the drive. To the right side. For three. Offensive rebound. Pass to Adams. Six on the shot clock. And he drives in. Ooh, Howard with a block. Up for three. And another three for the Lakers. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. And the dunk by Jackson. Converting around the rim is just effortless for Jackson. He could play on my team any day. Jaron Jackson Jr. is one of the most promising young big men that we have in this game, B.A. He's capable of spacing the floor and protecting the paint. Oh, there's Morant with the slam. Oh, wait. Big finish. Big time. And man, did they need that. You can tell he's trying to get him going with that dunk. You're totally right. That can be a shot in the arm for them. A spark that turned things around. One of the cases where height fails to tell you the whole story. And those big men who block shots and shoot, sometimes given the label unicorns, would you say Jackson falls into that category, Smitty? Without question. And you can win with a player like Jaron Jackson. He doesn't need the ball in his hands to have a positive impact on this game. Outside Morant, driving to the basket. And he makes it. Morant's got nine points here in the second half. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Laker girl. No 
Both teams will make substitutions. Your Laker girls dance team. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. If things are definitely working offensively, a balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. Westbrook can't hit. Get that weak stuff out of here. That's embarrassing. And finished off this by Anderson. John and you watch Carl. Kyle Anderson run the floor. Those long strides eat up ground. James goes in. The kick out to Johnson. Takes a three. Drains the triple. Johnson's got himself on the board with a three there. Working on the accuracy from range, you see Stanley looking a little more comfortable out there. Here's Jones. Here's Anderson. Over James. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That one misses. A versatile swing man, Kyle Anderson's nickname is Slow Mo for his methodical style of play. Back to Westbrook. Down low. Here's Johnson. The shake. The Grizzlies pull it in. Anderson for three. No good on the buzzer beater. And so it's Los Angeles. They lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. Looking to run whenever they can. Come on, fans. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. And here are the Grizzlies now. 11-point game. To the inside. Adam, shot's good. Steven Adam. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Pass to Johnson. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. He almost blocked that shot in time, just a man a second late. Carmelo Anthony. Halen Horton Tucker. Los Angeles calls time out. The Lakers making a switch here. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Alley. Right. During that break, Let's coach Frank Vogel had some advice for his team. He implored his team to fight until the end. He said, quote, we might be up now, but we can't give the ball away. Don't let your guard down until the clock hits zero. Back to you. And Allie, thank you for that. And the Lakers making a change here. And here are the Grizzlies now. They trail by 11. Every team is looking for that star to lead them to great things. Morant already looks the part. Los Angeles. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for Los Angeles. I mean, a fantastic game for them in open court. Their fast break points really stand out. Another thing, they've not only caused a bunch of turnovers tonight, they've turned most of them into points. For three, Westbrook. And they'll get another chance. Here's Monk. And he can't get that one. Ooh, some solid defense from Adams. And stolen by Anthony. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. Monk for three. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. Some coaches might not like taking the three on the fast break, but he had the open look and buried it. Morant, no good. Now Los Angeles with it. Looking ahead to the next game. Playing at Los Angeles. They'll match up against the Clippers. It's a quick turnaround on the road. Just one game. The ideal fast break option. Westbrook plays with energy and explosion in the open court. The free throw drops for Morant. Third team foul. And Morant drops them both. And they've been playing with much greater physicality this half. Getting themselves to the free throw line is a bust. Westbrook, Russell Westbrook. uses the glass to finish the layup. And the Lakers lead by 14. 
shooting at a high clip. He's found ways to get quality looks. Here's Moran. Clock at six. Pass to Bain. Memphis needs to get off a shot. Another shot. It's not going to go for him. And Los Angeles the other way now. It's Monk on the wing. Inside. Here's Ariza. Anthony with it. Westbrook outside. And there's the drive. Million. How you winning if your fam don't know? No, no, no.